Either one, it is currently the 13th of January, 2015, and being in the middle of January, the last thing you would think we would be talking about out here in the northwestern Pacific is the potential for a tropical storm, but that really is the case here today. We now have a tropical depression just towards the south of Guam. Take a look, look actually at ASCAT imagery at this time. A defined center of circulation, winds rain around 30 to 35 knots based on a satellite derived winds and that is why the Japan Meteorological Agency has gone ahead labeled this a tropical depression uh, with 1006 HBA with the central pressure that is a current analysis 48 hours from now they still expect it to continue to be a tropical depression with 1004 HBA so maintaining those winds uh, right around that 30 to 35 knots threshold now based on ASCAT imagery it is pushing that tropical storm status but uh, it really does remain rather lopsided most of the convection is on the northern periphery despite a very decent low level circulation it is exposed and most of the convection is displaced away from that center of circulation so that is likely one more reason why they have not upgraded this to a, to a ts just yet i do think it is possible at least a name tropical depression coming from bagasse is going to be very well likely once this enters the philippine area of responsibility on their facebook page they already have stated there is a tropical depression uh, well towards the east of the Philippines with maximum same winds around 55 kilometers per hour. Forecasts move west though at 19 kilometers per hour, so they expect it to come into the Philippine area of responsibility. I also agree with that. Most of the model consensus really matching up a west northwesterly really track. This is actually showing you the NavGem, GFS, and CMC kind of overlaid on this map here with the current center of circulation. I made this graphic before this was updated to a tropical depression, so that is a little bit obsolete right there, but these models still uh, basically are indicating the same type of outlook. I expect this to move off there towards Towards the west northwest it potentially could impact luzon or Visayas. I mean, uh, right now, I think that this cone of air, you really have to pay attention to that. And despite um, seeing different model outlooks, it, this is still organizing, and we really have to look at how this is going to interact with the northeast monsoon once it does near the Philippines, because we could see an abundance of vertical wind shear really impact this. Also, the weekend, if it does track a little bit farther towards the west-northwest, but on the latest runs here from some of the models, uh, this, for example, is showing you what the nav gem is indicating at this time it does have it coming on shore around Visayas with some heavy rainfall I think that's gonna be the bigger issue with this on Saturday through Sunday we're gonna be seeing the threat of some flooding rains you remember the last storm that came through the same area over 50 deaths occurred to that it did not make it to typhoon intensity just a tropical storm but these are the ones that do cause problems people especially this far down here towards the south look here at the model I'll look with the winds overlaid with the precept here indicated in the blue the center of circulation in Indicated on the ECMWF model just towards the east of Yap at this time. We do have the highest winds, as I mentioned, on the northern periphery. Down towards the south, lacking convection. The winds are a little bit less there as well. Plus, on the northern portion of the center of circulation, you still have a little bit of interaction with the northeast monsoon. And that's indicated uh, by this very tight pressure gradient, which you're going to be seeing those high winds. That's very natural for uh, basically weather systems that are tried to form in the tropics around this time of year. They always have to contend with with the interaction with the northeast monsoon here so that is why another reason even though if this does impact the philippines as a weak storm you're still gonna have a lot of gale force winds along the northern periphery of it but let's go ahead here through tuesday into wednesday and just indicating our storm system really organizing up here scrolling ahead through friday it does come on shore there in Visayas, just towards the north of Tacloban, basically in the same area as Hagopit did uh if this model was to follow through and then coming on shore Sure, I do like the ECMWF model. I like the one we use here at the Meteor It typically uh, does uh, do a decent job, as we've been seeing in the past. But you have to remember, this is still five days out. We still have the genesis phase of the storm. So everybody, basically, across uh, much of Luzon down through Visayas, you really need to keep a very close eye on this. Because even if the center of circulation was to come on in this exact spot where it is indicating this model run, uh, still wide swaths of Visayas and southern Luzon would see heavy rain fall and thus the threat of flooding and that really is the killer with storms of this intensity around this time of year so this is something we're going to be watching for several days to come people uh this is going to continue to track off and even in the sunday still moving slowly across the philippines even bring some heavy showers there into manila if 
anything uh, does significantly change, we're going to definitely keep you updated and posted here at westernpacificweather.com. But I do think this is going to be making landfall at the very least as a tropical dep depression, potentially a tropical storm. Just my thoughts on it at this time. If you have any more questions, you can always ask us here at westernpacificweather.com. Just go to our Facebook page, post your questions or comments there. That's the quickest way we'll get back in touch with you. Always remember, though, we are not an official agency by any means. We never really can say that we are, but if you do want to check the official forecast, the RSMC for the Western Pacific is the Japan Meteorological Agency. If you are in the Philippines, though, they really do appreciate it if you check out their website at Pagasa. As always, thanks again for watching and stay safe out there.